inversión va a hacer muchas personas feliz en la ciudad de Nueva York. Gracias. A la orden. I hope so. I hope so. And having been at the other side, I definitely know so. It's just the right way, the right thing to do. Yeah. Our no. It's going to make brokers happy. It makes everybody happy. Yeah. All right, yeah. Council members, we started the live stream. So um, at this time, will all sergeants please start the recordings? Computer recording started. Thank you. Our recording is up. Thank you. Backup is rolling. Thank you. Sergeant Bradley, with your opening statement, please. Yes. Good afternoon and welcome to today's New York City Council vote on general welfare. At this time, will all members please turn on your videos for verification process? Thank you, Chair. We may begin. Thank you very much, Sergeant. <clears throat> um, good afternoon, everybody. I have my kids' gavel here. Um, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I, I'm very happy to be here today um, uh, with all of you to vote on Intro 146C um, uh, here in the General Welfare Committee. Um, this is legislation that um, we introduced back in 2018 uh, that would increase the City FAPS voucher rate. Um, to a rate that someone can actually find an apartment here in New York City. Um, uh, you know, the, the history of uh, what this city has done for people in shelter um, when it comes to vouchers is, is not a history of success. It's not. Um, we've had uh, program after program um, that has been undermined by the city and the state. Um, uh, having um, unfair limitations placed on it. Um, uh, and the people that pay the price for that are people in shelter um, who just want to be able to get into permanent housing and get uh, their foot in the door. And, um, you know, I do give credit to this administration for uh, creating a new program uh, where one didn't exist for the last three years of the Bloomberg administration when Advantage was um, discontinued in 2011. Um, uh, between then and 2014, there was no program, no, no voucher program for people to get out of shelter. And that's when we saw a significant increase in the shelter population, particularly among families. Um, uh, when this administration did create the LINK program in 2014, 2015, um, it was um, cumbersome. It was dealing with the fallout from the Advantage debacle, and um, and it it uh, it needed to be um, it, it needed to work, and it was set at a very low um, uh, rate to pay for apartments. That continued when the city moved to city FEPS, um, which is the current iteration of the voucher, and um, the problem is. Uh, at least one of the problems, and I think the main problem with the voucher in terms of its effectiveness, and we know that it's not very effective um, based on data, is that um, for every um, uh, voucher, the value is, is pegged at far below um, fair market rent, um, hundreds of dollars below fair market rent. And as we all know, in New York City, there are no vacancies at those discounted uh, rent levels. There are no vacancies. And so for every person um, that is that has a voucher um, to get out of shelter, um, they're all searching for a handful of apartments uh, throughout New York City in, in maybe a handful of neighborhoods. Um, and they and it is um, it is a disgrace what we have done. It is a disgrace because we have given people um, hope by giving them uh, this voucher and telling them that this will be um, their exit out of shelter, um, but we have handicapped uh, uh, we have handicapped that voucher to the point where it's not um, it's 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 not at all um, usable, and so that 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 is going to change with this bill, and this bill will increase that voucher level um, to the Section Eight voucher level, um, and um, and it will make a meaningful impact 
um, in terms of the number of units that are available uh, for voucher holders. Just to give an example, uh, Street Easy a couple of weeks ago did um, an analysis and showed that because of the pandemic, uh, with a softening in the in the in the rental market in New York City, um, the number of of available units uh, for a Section Eight voucher went up from uh, uh, from about twenty nine thousand to over seventy thousand um, from 20, 2019 to twenty twenty. As a, a economist named Nancy Wu that did that report, I reached out to Ms. Wu and I asked her um, if she could do an analysis of uh, city FEPS levels, um, and um, and she showed that uh, with those levels there were five hundred and sixty four apartments available on Street Easy compared to the seventy almost seventy two thousand. Um, so that's what we're talking about here. It's just it's it is. Um, we're giving people the opportunity to get out of shelter and a and a um, and, and a place to go um, and the means to get there. Um, I want to thank um, all of my colleagues that have been supportive of this legislation. I want to thank, um, uh, in particular, I want to thank Speaker Johnson, um, who um, uh, for at the from the outset has been supportive of this legislation. And and this spring when we saw. Um, ourselves climbing out of COVID um, and with the help of federal uh, stimulus dollars um, really made it a priority to get this done. And so I, I give him um, a, lot of, a lot of credit for that. Um, and I want to thank him for his support. I want to thank Jason Goldman, our chief staff. Um, Jason um, uh, has been steadfast in these recent weeks um, in support of this legislation and making sure that um, uh, the heart of it, um, uh, it comes through and gets passed. Um, uh, I want to thank committee staff, Crystal Pond, um, Natalie Amari, um, uh, Aminta Kilowan, who have done um, you know, just a, a tremendous amount of work on this. Um, Frank Sarnoff from our finance division, Dohini Sampura, um, uh, uh, our unit head, um, Deputy Director Regina Pareto Ryan, and our, and our finance director, Latanya McKinney. Um, I also want to acknowledge uh, Louis Cholton Brown and Andrea Vasquez um, uh, in, in our legislative division. Um, and I want, in particular, I wanna thank the advocates um, who have really prioritized this bill um, and, and called attention to this issue. I wanna thank Christine Quinn, our former speaker and, um, and her team at Wynn, um, uh, who've done a, 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 an amazing job of, of calling public attention to this issue. Um, uh, Neighbors Together, Vocal New York, um, uh, Safety Net Project, um, uh, uh, um, Urban Justice Center Safety Net Project, um, uh, Josh Dean at Human uh, NYC, and, and, and Lyndon Bond, um, Giselle Ruthier, um, uh, uh, and um, uh, uh, let's see, I'm sorry, I'm blanking. I'm seeing everyone's name here. Um, I just want to thank uh, uh, um, Coalition for the Homeless. Um, uh, Legal Aid Society. Um, uh, let's see if there's more. Uh, I think that that is everybody. Um, uh, Beth Hoffmeister and um, uh, and uh, Josh Goldfein. Um, it, this was a, again. It was it was a lot of work that went into this, and and I, and it was not easy. And I just want to thank everybody for. Um, uh, uh, Jackie S uh, Simone from Coalition as well. Um, it, it was not easy to, to do all of this. And, and so I just wanna thank everybody for um, uh, investing the time and energy into this um, to make this to make this a reality. Um, uh, and, and also I just wanna in particular thank um, uh, Councilmember Vanessa Gibson, who I know has been just uh, uh, um, you know, a stalwart in support of this legislation. So thank you, Vanessa and, and Councilmember Dharma Diaz as well. Um, and, uh, and with that, I'll turn it back over um, to the clerk. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Good afternoon. This is the May 26th, 2021 General Welfare Committee roll call vote on proposed intro 146C. Chair Levin, we'll start with you. I vote aye. And Council Members Lander. Oh, Request permission to explain my vote. 
Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, Council Member Levin, I just want to say a big congratulations uh, to you. This is you have been fighting for this for years, and you saw long before this pandemic how urgent it was to raise the city FEPS level. So folks get out of shelter and long before the pandemic, but boy, right now for sure, there's almost no issue that's as important as enabling homeless New Yorkers to get off the streets and out of shelters and into housing. And we've done almost nothing to make that happen in recent years, despite seeing it. And this is really the most practical, the most immediate thing that we can do. And it's gonna have an enormous impact in the lives of families and in the life of our city. So I wanna thank you for your fierce advocacy um, and then just, you know, the advocacy groups who have been fighting for this are a remarkable crew. So uh, to Vocal and the Safety Net Project and Safe, um, Coalition for the Homeless and Legal Aid and Human.NYC, um, standing up for homeless New Yorkers is really amongst the most important things anybody is doing. So thank you for all of it. And I proudly vote aye. Council Member Gibson. Thank you. Permission to explain? Yes. Thank you so much. I want to join Council Member Lander in expressing my extreme gratitude and appreciation to you, Chair Steve Levin. Uh, you have been an incredible leader during this time and certainly recognizing that Intro 146 is going to have a transformative impact for many homeless New Yorkers in our city. And certainly many who have been impacted by COVID-19, our very own constituents that really need the support. When you talk about the City FEPS voucher and making sure that its value recognizes COVID-19 and the fact that so many families are rent burdened, uh, many of them are paying 30%, over 30% of their income towards rent, and many are struggling for basic necessities. We always talk about the faces of homelessness and they are everyday New Yorkers that look like us that come from our communities and many of them are working full time. They have a full time job, but they simply cannot afford the rents of our city. And if we're going to have a city that is affordable to everyone, no matter where you come from, no matter what your zip code is, nor how much you have in your bank account, it is initiatives like this raising the value of city FEPS that recognize that we have to provide equity in this system. So I wanna thank again, all of the housing advocates and many of my own groups in the Bronx, like Northwest Bronx Community and Clergy Coalition and Casa Bronx, who have been at so many rallies and demonstrations and Zoom calls, really making their voices heard on behalf of homeless New Yorkers um, who we must protect. So Steve, you've been amazing and I know you have never given up on anything you start. And so I'm glad to see intro 146 come across the finish line. This is truly a victory for so many of our brothers and sisters that need our support. And I'm so proud to be a part of this effort and support this bill. I proudly vote yes on intro 146, making sure that we continue to do our part as a city council. Thank you so much, Chair Levin, and thank you to all the advocates. Thank you, colleague, thank you. Council member Reynoso. Council member Rodenchik. I want to uh, congratulate Chair Levin. Um, we stood at some press conferences uh, when no one else was around, Steve, and uh, we couldn't even get the steps of City Hall to uh, to push this legislation. And I want to congratulate you for your perseverance and um, for uh, for today taking a step to make uh, New York City just a little bit fairer for all the people who live here. So with that, I vote aye. Thank you, Council Member Grenadette. Council Member Salamanca. Congrats, uh, Chair Levin and I on all. Council Member Dharma Diaz. Permission to explain my vote? Good day, thank yes, you. Sir. Thank you, Chair, from the bottom of my heart, from the tip of my toes, to all the gray hairs that I've earned you know, through uh, my, my legacy of, of advocating for housing, for the 13 years that I spent as a case manager, program after program, I definitely believe this is the best. I thank you, I thank all my colleagues and uh, stepping out the box. I, I know that it's a financial hit for New York City, but just think of all the positive outcomes we're gonna have, all the little people that are gonna have a place to call their home, their home. Again, thank you. Thank you, New York City for standing tall. I'm proud and I'm honored 
be a part of this conversation, this process. I can go back to my 20 families that are still living in the shelter that I left six or five months ago and say we're with you. Promises made, promises kept. Thank you. Thank you, my colleagues in government. Thank you, Council Member. Council Member Reynoso. Uh, congrats, Steve. Good job uh, to everyone. Uh, great, great piece of legislation. This is why we're here. Uh, I vote aye on all. Thank you. Thank you. Chair Levin, uh, intro 146C is adopted by a vote of eight in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and zero abstentions. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Mr. Ettrick. And um, I, I just want to uh, thank all my colleagues once again, um, staff that worked on this. Um, <clears throat> and lastly, I just want to thank uh, all of the homeless New Yorkers that um, have pushed us on this legislation um, and have pushed us on this issue and have uh, raised their voices and made sure that we heard them. Uh, and continue to advocate and will continue to advocate beyond this um, for a fairer city and a city that recognizes our collective humanity. And I think that um, uh, I'm very honored to be a part of this with you all. And, um, and with that. Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Yes, sir. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, the vote is actually seven in the affirmative, not eight. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, and with that, uh, this hearing is adjourned. Thank you all colleagues.